This is a lessons learned video of the Yarnell Hill Firestorm. Doppler radar images are blended to understand this tragic event. This is Granite Mountain Hotshots, last stand at Yarnell Hill. The radar base reflectivity demonstrates rainfall intensity. Red is heavy rain down to blue being clouds and smoke. Fire intensification can be seen in the growth of the reflectivity over the fire. This is a cross section of the base reflectivity. The Yarnell Hills are at about 5,000 foot elevation. As the thunderstorm goes through the dissipation phase, downdrafts and gust fronts are common. Smoke is growing and shifting southwest. The cloud deck lowers and, and the driving winds are no longer restricted by the storm. Winds will accelerate as they are compressed between the clouds and the terrain and as they pass through the canyon gaps. The smoke grows to 40,000 feet. The cross sections of the wind velocities are added below the reflectivity above. On the left, red is winds moving away from the radar and green is towards. On the right, the winds are adjusted for the radar's rotation. The purple is range folding, where the wind directions cannot be determined by the radar. Here you can see the winds growing rapidly over, over the fire, similar to the wind profile seen in tornadoes. Here is a view looking at the outer, outer layer of the clouds and smoke. The upper level clouds are joining up with the smoke from the fire. Winds are shifting. There is increased fire activity. The smoke is going to grow to 40,000 feet. 